Another thing about slide playing is that the guitar you use doesn't have to be an electric guitar. You can play slide on an acoustic guitar. You can play slide on a guitar with really high action, bad intonation. It's still going to sound pretty decent on the slide. Okay, in fact, my guitar is set up with kind of low action right now, so I'm going to get a little bit of fret buzz. But ideally, you want a little bit high action on your guitar if you're going to be playing strictly slide. I use this guitar for live performances, and I play a lot of different types of music on it. I do a few slide solos, but I don't use it strictly for slide all night long, so that's why my action is set up a little bit lower. But... Seriously, you can use an old acoustic guitar, beat up old acoustic, and learn to play slide. And you can learn to play vibrato a lot easier on the slide than you would with your fingers. It's, it's so much easier because it's real smooth. And when you learn to do this little slide thing, and then you just kind of back and forth, keeping it, you want to keep it parallel with the fret still. And just start learning to shake that on the string, and you get that vibrato. That slide vibrato sound, which is really nice to work with. I'm just going to do show you an example of where we could play a song in rhythm, you know, and in the key of A on the slide. So we can add in a little fills in between the, the rhythm stuff with the slide. And this is just in standard tuning. You can do a lot more in the open tuning guitar. And you can find all those open tunings on nextlevelguitar.com. So there's some rhythm guitar for you on the slide. And then, of course, you can do all the solo stuff. It sounds so funky on the... Sounds so funky on the low notes. A couple little licks on slide, where you slide up, and you play a note, and you slide down, and you play... All right, we're just, I'm just going to show you a very basic little slide lick just to get you started, okay? Because it's really simple once you get it down. It's really fun to try and practice. So, in fact, it's a little bit easier than actually hitting, plucking the strings, playing chords. If you can't play a bar chord, you could still play slide, seriously. So, I'm just gonna play on the, off of the seventh fret. I'm only using the middle two strings, the D string and the G string, okay? I'm going to pluck it with my fingers, but you could also use a pick. And you're just going to lay your slide down right on top of the 7th fret. So you've got the D and the G string. And you're going to you're going to pluck the you're going to slide up to the 9th fret. So what you're going to do, I'll show you with my pick. You're going to hit the D string and you're going to slide up on that D string to the ninth, ninth fret from the seventh fret, and then you're going to hit the G string. Okay? So it goes something like this. Okay? We'll do it one more time, really slow. From the seventh fret, you're going to slide up to the ninth fret, start with the D string, pluck it, slide, and then hit your G string. Let's do it one more time. You're going to hit the D string and you're going to slide up on that D string to the ninth, ninth fret from the seventh fret and then you're going to hit the G string. Okay? So it goes something like this. Okay? We'll do it one more time, really slow. From the seventh fret, you're going to slide up to the ninth fret, start with the D string, pluck it. Slide and then hit your G string. Let's do it one more time. Okay, 
So we're going to slide up from the 7th fret up to the 9th fret and we're going to start by plucking our D string. After you pluck it, you're going to slide. After you finish the slide, you're going to hit the G string. Okay? So it goes something like this. Pluck, slide, pluck your G string. Sounds like this. And you can add a little vibrato in there. And slide down. Okay, here's another really basic, very commonly used slide lick. Okay, so we're going to start on the B string, and we're going to start with, with our slide on the, gee, what fret am I on? <laughs> the 10th fret. Okay, we're going to go from the 10th fret, pluck it, then we're going to slide up to the 9th fret. And then we're going to hit our G string on the ninth fret. So let's do it again, real slow. We're going to start on the 10th fret on our B string. We're going to hold our slide right there on the 10th fret. Don't press down too hard, just right there on, the, on top of the fret. Pluck your B string. And then you want to kind of slide up on that B string, slide up to the ninth fret. And then hit your G string, keeping your slide right there. Don't move it. So all together, it kind of looks like this. And finish. Uh, just a quick note: we um, that last lick I just did. Uh, we're working around the the E pentatonic scale, so so around the E minor. And um, when I went from the ninth, the tenth fret. I didn't literally slide down and then slide up again. I actually lifted my slide up. So from that ninth, from that tenth fret, from the, from the tenth fret, I'm going to lift my slide and then slide up to the ninth fret and finish it off with that G string. Now, when you play slide, there's a lot of um, you tend to get a lot of ambient noise going on with your other strings. Okay, so you have to kind of pay attention to that. You want to kind of mute your strings a little bit with the rest of your hands. So that, that takes a little practice and some getting used to. Just, just concentrating on two strings alone. And then getting that one note. It's almost like playing a harmonica. You've got a, a lot of other notes that want to get in there. And you're, I'm trying to kind of muffle them with my, the palm of my hand on my right hand. I'm kind of muting my low strings, and then when I lift my slide, I, I mute it with my whole hand, okay? So I don't get any ringing out and any excess, excess noise, so. 